Hello and welcome to Animation Flash Chapter 4, um, Lesson 3. And this is specifically creating frame-by-frame -frame animations. And this is really similar to when you had the, let's say, picture books where you draw the little stick figure in each page and you ruffle through them and it would actually make them walk. So that's kind of where we're going by this. And the animations are more like a uh, an optical illusion that you're creating the appearance of movement, whereas I wouldn't go so far as to say they're real movement. So what I've done is I've taken care of the open FL4 underscore four which I've done right there I have then created a new layer called stick figs which I've done right there the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click frame one and I'm going to drag stick fig one which looks like this right here and I'm going to grab it drag it into the middle of the page right here so there's my stick fig then what I do from there is I'm going to make and basically I'm taking so it says click frame two of the stick figs layer to select so I click frame two right and then I want to insert and I want to do timeline and I want to insert a keyframe so I've created another keyframe now I'm going to drag stick fig two which is this guy right here and I'm going to drag him on top of this particular figure now you'll notice I'm actually using my keyboard items here to superimpose especially the head to make sure that they're in the same sort of frame of reference then after I yep, click a blank area of stage deselect stick fig two there we go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click stick fig one which is this, oh, there he is. I'm going to go ahead and click stick fig one. That should allow me to delete stick fig one. And now he's all by himself. Now I'm going to click frame three. This is going to be frame, th frame three. And I want to insert a keyframe again. So insert timeline keyframe. So I've inserted a keyframe. I want to drag stick fig three so it is on top of stick fig three. Two. So there's stick fig two. I'm bringing it down here. I make sure their heads align again so they have the same frame of movement, right? So I'm going to click off that, click stick fig two, and then I'm going to delete that. And what's going on here is if I take this, it's just a quick little walkthrough, and you can see with those three, it gives the illusion of movement. I mean, granted, it's not actually moving. If you do it often enough, it kind of looks like he's having medical problems, but it's there. All right, so. We want to change the frame rate to 12. So um, let's see here. Our frames per second is 24. I want to change it to 12. Now I'm at 12. All right. So all right. So we are good to go where that's concerned. And it only displays so it makes it a little bit more uh, divided items where that's concerned. Now, it goes through on page 4-27, copying frames and adding a moving background. What's going on here is I'm actually taking frame 1 through frame 3. So here's frame 1, shift through frame 3, and I'm actually going to copy those. So what I do is I do edit, um, timeline, copy frames, and then I'm going to actually click on, it says click frame 4. So here's my frame 4, and I edit, uh, excuse me. Make sure I do this right. Edit, and then I want to choose paste frames. Oh, boy. Let me see here. So edit, timeline, paste frames. There we go. Edit, timeline, paste frames. So you'll notice now I've increased the number of frames. So now I've got the one guy moving in one particular space. And I want to continue that all the way to frame 10. So now I'm right there. And I want to edit, timeline, paste frames again and then that brings it out here you'll notice that I have it as I pasted these frames it moved it out to this frame here and I can now click all the way to sh frame 10 and then I want to edit timeline and I want to remove frames and I'm removing it back so the way it should look Timeline wise, it should look similar to figure 40 on Flash 4 27. So I've done that. Now, what's going on is okay, he's moving in one place, right? Awesome. So, what I'm going to now do is I'm going to change the background so it looks like something's moving behind him to give the illusion of movement. So, I want to insert a new layer and we're going to call the uh, we're going to call it houses, which, strangely enough, we're going to put houses on it, so that makes sense. So I'm going to insert timeline layer, and I want to call this layer houses. 
houses okay so that's houses and then I'm actually putting let's see uh, drag the house symbol so I'm right here I'm going to grab my library and I'm going to grab the houses symbol so we drag our houses like this so there's all our houses and what we do oh and I need to move it a little bit up so you can really get the illusion of movement there and now I'm going to go to let's see click frame what we've done it click frame one of the houses click insert on a menu bar then click motion tween so I want to insert motion tween and that gives me the ability to make a tween motion between that and frame nine so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on frame nine which is going to be about here and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it backwards to right about here now it kind of gives you a differentiation between the two but the overall idea is to actually create a as I push enter on this now I have the idea that oh look it looks like he's moving and I'm all a flutter because that's very exciting right right so outstanding all right hold on uh, we'll be right back starting with flash 4-28 and FL4 underscore all right and this is FL4 underscore five and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new layer called stick figs so I'm going to insert I'm going to do timeline new layer and this is going to be called stick figs stick figs now what I'm going to do they change the view I'm not really worried about that it wants me to click frame five on the stick figure layers which is frame five and then I want to insert a keyframe so I'm going to insert timeline keyframe so now I've inserted a keyframe now I want to drag stick fig one stick fig one from the library panel to the left edge of the stage so here's stick fig one I'm um, left edge of the stage so there he is right there I want to click frame six which is right here and then I want to click insert timeline blank keyframe insert timeline blank keyframe and what's going on there is that's going to allow me to blank out some things now if I have my I believe it's my edit multiple there we go I have my edit multiples on which means that the way it appears is oh there's my first keyframe and then it goes away and that's my blank so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to drag stick fig two to the right of stick fig one now the reason I turn on multiples is so I can see them both so I'm going to grab stick fig two and I'm going to put it to the right of stick fig one and I'm going to move him above right there and then I'm going to click frame seven and I'm going to insert timeline blank keyframe so there we go and I'm going to drag stick fig three to the right of stick fig two. So there's our stick fig three. Then I want to click frame eight, which is that bad boy right there. And I want to insert timeline blank keyframe. So now I've inserted a blank keyframe. And then I want to drag stick fig one from the library panel to the right of stick fig three so now I'm grabbing this one to the right of stick fig three which is going to be right about there click frame nine so that I'm on frame nine and insert a blank keyframe insert timeline keyframe so I've insert up oh, I'm going to edit undo insert keyframe because I want to do insert timeline blank keyframe so I've done a blank keyframe and I'm going to drag stick fig two to the right of stick fig one so now I'm going to drag this one to the right of stick fig one. So then I'm going to click frame 10 and insert a blank keyframe. So insert timeline blank keyframe. You kind of get the theme here. Then I'm going to drag stick fig three to the right of stick fig two, which is going to be right there. I'm going to move that up just a little bit there. And I'm going to click on frame 11 and I'm going to insert timeline blank keyframe again and I'm going to change my 
edit the menu frames. So I'm going to make sure this comes off. All right, so I've turned them off, and so now if I go back through it, it looks like the little dude's walking across, which is kind of nifty. And then what I do is I go to my properties, and I want to change it to 6 frames per second. And then I want to go ahead and run it. So it looks like the little guy's walking across the screen. And then I would save the movie, and that's essentially what this one does. All right, this concludes uh, Chapter 4, Lesson 3, Creating Frame-by-Frame -frame Animations. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, thank you very much for your time.